Good morning everybody, Forever Nina here and welcome to Cooked with Love. Cooked with Love is a short comedy slash romance visual novel with crafting elements made by Stardust Soda. I'll leave a link to the, to the game in the description below. It's free to play, but as always, feel free to support the creator. Now, let's get into it. What a beautiful morning. You wake up right as the alarm sounds, full of energy with enough time to get ready for class. I wish I was like that. Wake up full of energy. Zzz. I said you wake up. <laughs> this, this type of game. Zzz. You're gonna be late, aren't you? Zzz. <laughs> he has a little cheeky smile on him too. Wake up! Oh my goodness. You stumble out of bed, stubbing your toe as you scramble for your phone. Nice one. You quickly dismiss the three alarms you managed to sleep through. So relatable, honestly. Better get ready fast. Oh, look! Customization. It says, <laughs> it says new game, who dis? Okay, so who dis? It's first name, Nina. Last name, forever. Because I'm not that creative. Long hair or short hair? I say long hair. Like the long trousers or skirt. I feel like with that sweater, it looks better with the trousers. Ooh, and they have pronouns. Got he, him, she, her, and they, them. That's so nice. Okay, but you know, since it's me, I'm gonna say she, her. It's me. Well, this is as good as it's gonna get. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to be late to the first lecture of the semester. And after that New Year's resolution I made? The first lecture of the spring semester goes smoothly. You manage to duck into the hall without anyone noticing. However, it's what, or rather, who awaits you at the bus stop that has your palms all sweaty. Gross, is that a medical condition? You wipe your palms on your trousers as you take a hesitant step forward. Come on already, you spent all night psyching yourself up for this. Hey, uh, your voice comes out in a whisper. You cough and try again. Hey, Lily. Oh, hey, Nina, right? Oh, oh, hey, Nina, right? Yeah, she remembers my name. That's a good sign, right? Right? Oh, little Nina has a crush. Look at her. Sure, buddy. This narrator. <laughs> What's up? You're so excited about her knowing your name, you completely forget everything you rehearsed in your head last night. Nice going. Uh, nothing much you. Got a moment to talk about the environment or cry and throw, <laughs> and throw up. <laughs> okay, no, we gotta play it cool, right? We gotta be like, you know, Nothing much, you, and like, you know, like, yeah. Nothing much, you, just waiting for the bus. Oh, yeah, me too. Dot, 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 oh, this is so awkward. Come on, girl, that bus is going to arrive any minute, and you promised yourself that you'll suck it up and just ax her out. Freaking ax her out. Just do it and let... Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I love it. The energy. I love it. Here goes. Uh, so Lily, I was wondering. Yes? In the distance, you see the M7G, Lily's bus. Not that you like a stalker or anything approaching. Thankfully, it has stopped for a red light. But you know, you should probably speed this up a little. I was wondering if you'd like to go out with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hang on. Don't speed it up that much. Huh? You cough. <clears throat> I uh, was wondering if you'd like to go out sometime. Not sometime. Uh, Friday. Friday night? Seven? 
oh, I like that. Really? I'm like, don't, don't show the desperation, Nina. Sure, did you have anything in mind? Oh, uh, gosh, uh, it's a surprise. You, you don't know what you're going to do. All right, then, I'll look forward to it. I'll meet you at your house. Text me your address. Text you? You still have my number from that group project before, right? Oh, right. Got it. Great. Well, this is my bus, so I'll see you Friday night. Great. Awesome. See you. <laughs> have a good, uh, bus ride. Oh, no. You watch as her bus peels away. Have a good bus ride? <laughs> and then I told her have a good bus ride because it was the only thing I could think of. Ooh, Brooks, new character. Forever, way to go. Oh, I forgot, that's our last name, forever. <laughs> I still can't believe it. That's such a weird thing to say, right? Don't you reckon she thinks I'm weird now? Who cares? What matters is you finally did it. I guess so. Proud of you, lady bro. Huh? Thanks. You decided where you're gonna take her yet? Not yet. I guess I got a lot to do before Friday. I can't believe it's already Friday. Oh, that's right, it's tonight. You all set for your big date? Heck yeah, you bet I am. I got us a reservation at the Savoy. Ooh, so fancy, Savoy. The Savoy? That's the nicest restaurant in town. Where'd you get that kind of money? Graham, Graham. <laughs> nice, Grandma Forever coming in clutch with the big bucks. Yeah, she was so happy to hear that I was, and I quote, Finally going on a date with a nice girl for once, instead of hooking up with some guy at a phone party. Happy enough to finance this whole date. Sweet. But do that, it still weirds me out. Weirds me the heck out that you tell your grandma everything. Why? We just have a really good relationship. It's perfectly normal. Hate to break it to you, lady bro. It's really not. <laughs> I like all these little nicknames. Whatever, man. I don't need to hear that kind of talk about my grandma. The bus is here. Your bro, Brooks, is kind of right. There are some things you really don't need to tell your grandma about. But anyways, the bus is here and you reach in your pocket for your wallet. My wallet? Yes, your wallet. You keep it. You keep your bus pass in it. It's gone. Well, things have taken a terrible turn. I've only got enough for my own bus fare, too. This sucks. Home's not that far. We'll walk back together. It's good exercise anyways. It's not that. What about my date tonight? You probably just left it at home. Come on, we'll run back, find it, and you'll be on your date before you know it. I really hope you're right. You're wrong! <laughs> oh my gosh. It's not here. Maybe you just didn't look. No, I know it's not here. I bought that pack of gum earlier, so I definitely left the house with it. Oh man, Graham Graham's gonna be so disappointed. Come on, it's not so bad. I'm sure you'll think of something. Hey, you're right. Brooks, buddy, bestie, brosive, <laughs> brosive. <laughs> Your rich, benevolent, kind, generous, freaking amazing parents send you any mon any more money lately? Uh, yeah. Well, come on, do us this a solid. It's not that I don't want to, but I'll pay you back this time, I swear. I mean, as much as I totally believe that, it's, well, look, I spent it I spent it all on new clothes for Mabel already. What? Are you kidding me? Yeah, got him a whole new set of clothes for the new year. Oh, that's cute. And that used up your entire monthly allowance? 
freaking dog clothes for your teddy bear? Oh, he has a teddy bear that he just dresses up. That's so cute. Hey, the craftsmanship on those tiny sweaters is worth every little bit I paid. And more. You're ridiculous. You throw yourself onto your bed. I give up. I, I'll just cancel the date. I have probably made a total A of myself if I've gone on the date anyways. Oh, come on. Don't give up so easily. What other option is there? I don't know. How about you, uh, cook her dinner? That's always a romantic move, isn't it? Me? Cook? You? Cook? Dot, dot, dot. You're right. He's right? I'm, I am? Oh my gosh, this whole little bag is funny. Yeah, I mean, how hard can it be, right? Uh, sure. Oh dear. You mean this is all we have to cook with? In this whole house? To be fair, we have been living off takeaways for the past, uh, always. Well, I guess I better get started. Need any help? No offense, bro, but I've seen you strain pasta by dumping it all in the sink and picking it back up each piece of tortellini by hand. Hey, you still ate it. Dot, dot, dot. Anyways, shoo, I have work to do. Fine, fine, I'll leave you to it. Once Brooke leaves the room, you survey the ingredients in front of you with an appraising eye. As appraising an eye as someone whose entire culinary experience is one and a half episodes of MasterChef can possibly have anyways. So, I've got to make three courses, right? That's what they do at fancy restaurants. I guess I could start by grabbing something or another and pouring some seasoning on top. Starters are usually simple anyway. Ooh, oh, okay. Let's get cooking. Hover over an ingredient to get more information and <laughs> hope for the best. Okay, let's see our options. We got ramen, bag of chips, muffin, granola bar, egg salad, banana, frozen fish fingers, string cheese, balsamic vinaigrette. Oh, balsamic, yeah, vinaigrette. Vinegar. Um maple syrup soup mix and protein powder okay okay as a starter let's see what can i do it has to be something small so like i don't know this is such a weird combination but like there must be like multiple combinations that i can do with this so let me see um as a starter maybe we can take the chips and mix it with something like it's that's like for the granola the granola is like something you would, you know, eat in the beginning of the day. I don't know. Like, so I'll take the granola and maybe we can mix it with like... Powder? Yeah, chocolate powder and granola. That sounds like it would be good, actually. Like, crunch the granola with the powder or maybe... I don't know. Like, form it into some type of thing. Okay, hope for the best. <gasps> oh my god. Mysterious, mysterious starter. It's soft, crunchy, hard, undercooked, and burnt all at the same time. That's kind of the accomplishment. That's quite the accomplishment. Yeah, I know. I'm so talented. Bone apple tea. Well, that's one course down. This is turning out easier than I thought. Who knew? Maybe I'm a natural chef and I didn't even know it. All right, now next up, the main course. Let's see, I should probably start, I probably want to have something starchy, add whatever on the side, and add some seasoning. Okay, so, okay, so I'm taking whatever is left. So, okay, main dish. Um, I like ramen. Ramen is always a good thing, you know? Maybe we can make that the main dish. So let's see. Take the ramen, and we can mix it with the... I don't know, like... Ramen... Cheese? 
because ramen and cheese is really good. Like, it's actually, like, you guys gotta try it. Like, put ramen and you mix it with some cheese. It's actually so good. So let's just see if that's a thing. And then we gotta take something else. So fancy stuff. Definitely not. Yours or Brooks? Um, maybe we can put that as the sauce? Okay, <laughs> so let's see how that turns out. Oh my, <laughs> two for two, really? Okay, Mysterious Mane. It's soft, crunchy, hard, undercooked, and burnt all at the same time. Oh, okay, this dinner is about to be so great. I already know. Bone apple tea. Well, that's a mane, all right. Is it? Now, nice. Now that there's only the dessert left. You glance over the remaining ingredients. Oh man, what else can I work with here? Whatever, let's just cobble together two things and see what I get. <laughs> and it says, oh god, what is there left? Okay, so I've been thinking about this for a while. For the dessert, I think muffin, because like that's a dessert of itself. And we can mix it with, um, I think syrup, because like syrup is sweet and the muffin is sweet. <laughs> Logic. <laughs> no, JK. But, um, maple and muffin should equal sweetness. <laughs> At least that's what I'm hoping for. Finally! Oh my gosh, okay, muffin pudding. It's like bread pudding, right? Except it's made out of crumbled up muffin and an entire jug of maple syrup. But substitutions are a regular part of cooking. Bone apple tea. I'm proud of this one. Okay, bone apple tea. Sweet. Okay, that's all three courses. You take a step back and admire your handiwork. Mysterious starter to start. Mysterious main as the main. And finally, muffin pudding for dessert. If we can get to dessert. Oh my goodness. Hmm. That looks great. I can't serve this. Um... Maybe I'll have to try this whole thing again. Like, maybe like, I'll get a game over and I can come back to this part and try different combinations. So I'm just gonna say I can't serve this. Cause like, you know, I have standards for what I'm gonna be serving to people. Ah, <sighs> I can't serve. This is basically inedible. What's going on? Brooks casts a casual sweeping glance over the dishes you prepared. It looks fine to me. Does it? Does it really, Brooks? Please, take it for what it is. It's terrible. No, it's not that bad. Would I ever lie to you? Dot, dot, dot. I'm gonna cancel the date. You start typing out a message on the phone. Dear Lily. Aww. Hey, don't do that. You continue to type, but faster. Just take a sec to breathe. It's, it'll be fine. Today's just not my day. Well, you've been looking forward to this day so much. Don't throw your chances away over something small. I'll never be able to live it down if she comes over. You know what? I'll reschedule for another time. Or a lifetime. Or never, maybe. <sighs> dot, dot, dot. All right, if you already made up your mind, though so I'll suggest that you don't throw everything out. Why? No one should be subjected to eat this. It'll practically be torture. It won't be that bad. Well, we've eaten weirder things. I don't want to do this to you. Well, it is also our only food left for the rest of the week. Oh, you're right. Unless you think we can get away with stealing Nicole's packed lunches for a week. Nah, she's so stingy she once asked me to be... Oh, Venmo. Venmo her for using toilet paper she bought. How could she have even known? Has she been measuring the rolls with a ruler? <laughs> then I'll go set the table and you bring out the stuff. Just think of it as a nice meal between friends. How about that? Alright. Starter. Mysterious starter. You bring out two plates of mysterious starter and place it on the table. 
Are you sure you won't give us diarrhea? Uh, are you sure this won't give us diarrhea or something? Only one way to find out. With a deep sigh, you take a seat at the dining table. Even the fact that it's been cleaned for the first time since you moved in doesn't cheer you up. Unsurprisingly, since you know you bombed your chances with a girl you've been pinning over for ages. Hey, is not the end of the world. I mean, it sucks, but at least you didn't, I don't know, kill a man or something. Huh. So it's still gonna continue, but with my best broski, Brooks. That's interesting. Okay. I know. Sure calls for a drink or something. Yeah, let's let's do it. Celebratory drink for this dinner. Alright. Let's drink some water. Let's take a shot. Or let's have a glass of wine. Okay. We're about to eat some nasty slop. So I'm gonna just say let's just take a take a shot. So we just let all like the terrible list just let's let's just make it numb. Just forget it all. Shot. Party time! Woo! A party to celebrate my failure as a human? Yeah, sure. No, I'll do that. We're celebrating the folly of your youth. To youthful folly it is. <laughs> you pour the tequila into two disposable plastic cups you've been reusing for the past few weeks. Don't worry, you made sure you washed it with soap this time. Of course. Bottoms up! You gulp the liquor in one fell swoop. Gross. Well then, let's eat. This is rather interesting. He eats a small spoonful. Oh, that face. That face does not look good. <laughs> Oops, that doesn't look good. Don't worry, it's totally safe. Hope we don't get sick. Yeah, hopefully we don't. Yeah, I hope we don't get sick. Did you not try this before you served it? Nope, there's already so little. Fair enough, I guess we shouldn't waste food. He continues eating, taking very small spoonfuls. Dude, I'm gonna be alone forever. Hey, one mistake isn't gonna define your entire love life. Didn't you say you're going to reschedule? I did say that, but I'm gonna take this as a sign of where this relationship is headed towards. So maybe I should just not contact her ever again. No, you're gonna start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. You'll never know unless you try. Maybe you'll be good at this whole dating thing. That's wishful thinking. I'm gonna suck forever since I can't even get a first date right. Aw, don't be so hard on yourself. You just need more practice in the dating scene. You'll get him next time. You sound like a self-help book right now. So nice. Like, just so helpful. That's right. That's what I'm here for, to bestow inspirational quotes upon you. But I mean, is finding someone really that important? It'll just add another thing on your plate. I'm sick of ho hooking up with randos. It might be nice to settle down. I feel like a loser being single. No, no. Why doesn't anyone love me? <laughs> Oh no, we're not gonna think like that. We're gonna be like, it just might be nice to settle down because, you know, it might be nice. We won't have to randomly deal with strangers or just have that one companion with you, you know? Uh, kind of. It sounds nice to settle down with someone I like and who likes me. I see. But you know, it's not like someone will fall out of the sky like in the movies. What movie is that? Clearly he doesn't mean literally. I'm not really looking for a whirlwind romance or anything. Just like something chill. Hmm, what's that gonna look like? My ideal situation would be just spending time with them after class, maybe going to the cinema or cooking dinner together. Well, maybe they'll cook and I'll wash the dishes or something. So essentially you're looking for something like this? Huh. The dinner you're having with me right now? Yeah, may but maybe not with me as the chef. That does sound pretty nice. 
I mean, you could do that with people you meet for the first time. That's pretty much what first dates are. Yeah, but I was thinking more of a relationship where we really get each other. Like, it's not awkward, and it's not just at night or drunk. Just like you and I, you know? Yeah, too bad I'm a dude. I don't really think that matters. But yeah. Oh, I see. How do you do it though, since you're single? Don't you feel like you're missing out? Me? Hmm, not really. I mean, I've been on dates before, but I haven't really had a serious relationship yet. Hmm, I thought you did. Nah, come on. You know, you would have known all about it. But come to think about it, you never really talk about our pre-uni relationships much. What's your experience like? Huh, <sighs> nothing unlike you've seen, nothing serious, or when a lie and say can't remember. No, we're, we're, we can't lie to our friend Brooks. We're just gonna be like, nothing serious ever. Non-existent. I've liked people, but that's all that's ever happened. A lot of pitting from afar. That's not creepy at all. Uni made me a whole different beast though. Ah, oh, the power of alcohol. Yep. What a curse. Think of it as a rite of passage. Most students go through it. It makes us stronger people in the end. I guess it helps me to talk to people without reservations. Trust me. We'll look back on these days when we're middle age and laugh about it. I really hope so. It'll be it'll be these stories you tell your future partner and baby Nina's. Uh-huh. I don't know if hookup stories are something I'll want to tell my future partner or kids. It'll be funny! <laughs> For me at least. You finally take the last bite of your mysterious starter. Well, might as well bring out the main course. I'm kind of excited. Don't get your hopes up too much. Okay, the main course. Let's have some mysterious main. See how that goes. Soon enough, you return from the kitchen with two plates of mysterious main. How about another drink before we start on the main course? Of course. We should have water, some dusty alo, alco pops. I've never heard of that before. Um, wine or let's say tequila. Yeah, let's let's just go with tequila because gotta get through these dis- mysterious dishes. Honestly, where's the lime and salt? Since when do we ever have lime at home? Good point. You slop, you slopper, sloppily, you sloppily pour a shot's worth into two cups and hands one to Brooke. Here goes nothing. All right, now that we have our drinks, let's see the dish. Feast your eyes. Uh, Dudette, is this the same dish? No, (laughs) it does look the same. It looks the same. No, the plate's different. Oh, that fixes it. Are you sure we'll be fine? Yeah, it'll totally be fine. I really want to trust you here. Hey, no casualties so far. Yeah, so far. Anyways, are you feeling better about canceling the date? Yeah, thanks for being here. Only because of you. Sort of. I say only because of you, because he's been such an inspiration like tonight, like making me feel better and stuff. Yeah, but only because of you. I love you, man. Uh, are you drunk? I mean, I'm glad you're here with me. Instead of, be, instead of me being all alone. Exactly. It's chill. Love you too. He holds his fist up. Question mark? You put your hand on top of it. Um, I was aiming for a fist bump, but that works too. Nice going. You give him a half-hearted fist bump in return. Anyways, let's dig in. I find it a little weird that I'm unable to tell what this was made out of. I saw you in the kitchen with all the ingredients. And the taste. It tastes like nothing I've tasted before. 
you can call me a visionary. I'm not sure someone should be subjected to this. Food is food. I'll feel bad for wasting it. You're right. The two of you take turns eating small spoonfuls of your er, creation. You put your spoons down, having cleared the plate. I know we're broke and have no food, but I don't think I'll do something like this again. What do you mean? Eating your food, that is. Come on, it's not that bad. I feel like there's a stone in my stomach right now. Do you notice your stomach feeling a little heavy right now? It might even be gurgling. Hmm. Yep, there's something very wrong. Oh my gosh, this is taking such a turn for the worse. Don't we have some Tom somewhere? Right, I remember seeing a bottle. You look through the cabinets, knocking things to to the ground before you find a dusty bottle stashed away on one of the top shelves. Brooks, I found it! Yelling upsets your stomach a little more and a dull pain spreads quickly in your abdomen. You struggle to try to pry the bottle open, revealing one measly tablet on the bottom. Well, he's nowhere to be seen, so... You hear the bathroom door slam shut upstairs. And this is all mine. Before you can get the tablet out of the bottle, you feel your stomach become a geyser. Food shoots up through your throat, oh my gosh, out your mouth and you spray a dark chunky mixture all over the counter. That's so gross. Jeez, what a mess. Oh God. Good thing no one was here to witness this. From above, you can hear Brooks in the bathroom hurling his guts out. At least from the sound of it, he managed to get it in the toilet. Probably best you start writing your apology letter. And clean the mess in front of you before the smell gets any worse. Oh my gosh, that was such a disaster. <laughs> See, that's exactly why I didn't want to serve Lily. My cooking, I knew something bad was going to happen. But I'm so sad that we didn't even get to the dessert section. Like, I was kind of proud of that. But I definitely need to try to try different combinations in this game and see... Oh. Wow, that could have gone better. Luckily, now that you've completed one playthrough of the game, you unlock something to help you out. Oh, thank you. Once you start a new game, you'll be able to see hints in orange text when you hover over ingredients in the crafting screen. Try not to poison anyone next time. No promises. Oh my gosh, I really like that game. Like, it was really, like, funny, interesting, lighthearted, and just, like, I really liked it. Uh, I noticed that I could probably have two love interests. I can either go with Brooks or I can go with Lily. And I don't know. I like that. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to check out my channel. Give that subscribe button a little tippity tap. And I'll see you in my next video. Nina out.